Yeah, let's get into it. This, this having this day off, just, I don't know. I, I, I've been missing it already. I just wanted that we were on such a roll, obviously, for the challenger stage. But now we get these new teams injected, and it's always so hard to predict what's going to happen. We're going to find out right now. Game of Legion starting on the T side, now be on the CT side, and we are ready to go. And they have a bit of a setup, actually. They already have some people at the bomb side. They realize there's nobody top mid. And look at how the entire defense is switching this way. What a way to get started. First kill of the legend stage, and it goes to Electronic Bit there to follow it up, and it's a three versus four. Yeah, but he's got to get back up over towards CT spawn. Acor's already taking control. He knows Bit's tucked into the corner. There's Perfecto at range, but Bit is already gushed. He can't peek, and look at how far they're holding Navi back. This is going to take so long. That's a critical kill. What a round so far from Bit. Acor and Isaac blocked into the bomb site. Yeah, they can't really escape. They have to try and fight their way out. They're grouping up to do that. This is really smart, but they just can't find them. Simple shows up, and that's going to be the end of the round. Look at both NBL and Bit. They're so low on health. And I think they had the right idea, Game of Legion. Yeah. They did what they needed to do. They needed to escape the bomb site, but they just couldn't. They, well, they couldn't get the kills. I mean, I got to say, that's a pretty much a perfectly played round from Bit. Just to grab this one right at the end, even though you're goosh, that little quick tap, and then tucking yourself in that corner and making sure that you know they're trying to chase you. Just finding a great timing for one more kill and even i mean when that when bit gets that second kill and spawn gamer legion's in a lot of trouble so they have to push forward towards stair but it even takes some time to get that kill in which case the rest of navi's ready to go so almost there for gamer legion but a good recovery from navi one to nothing out of the pistol you said it's so hard to predict i think this one uh for me feels relatively easy this one feels more straightforward yeah, yeah. i suppose what i mean is that in the past historically some of these teams that have already played their way through the challenger stage are somehow more warmed up than the teams that already pre-qualify. Yeah, they're coming in hot. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to make a big difference here because I do agree the level difference between Navi and Gamer Legion should be a big one. But in the past, we've really been surprised. There's been moments where we think, wow, all right, well, this was, uh, this was something completely different. Navi, though, look well-disciplined. I mean, you could see it in that pistol round, not really fighting when you're low on health, just waiting for the teammates and all the rest of it. Chaos, though, will take down simple take down simple good shot with the deagle that's we a, love it that's a great shot with the deagle nice little man advantage and also i mean that allows gamer legion to spread the map out a little bit more now they realize that defense is going to have to shift is going to have to move around so maybe they can exploit something maybe they can find a gap they don't just have to go for the desperate hit towards the b bomb site now the problem is obviously no utility left on the uh, gamer legion side of things which makes these rifles very very effective and efficient at range three quick kills for bit and electronic and Navi's looking strong and powered to get up to nothing. Yeah, no real fear beyond uh, that first eagle shot. Didn't really, nothing else really transpired, which is fine. I mean, you you just buy those eagles to have a, ch a chance to do a little bit of damage. Before we get into round three, over on the uh, the B stream here at the Legend Stage in the Paris Major. Oh yeah, uh, we have Liquid taking on nine, which is uh, I, I think after Liquid's uh, performance in the Challenger Stage is a little bit worrying for everyone involved. Yeah, that could be a, a you know, best of one as well. I yeah. don't know. I mean, I, I think I actually picked a nine for that particular game. But I'm also on a, on a bit of a, of, a, of a hype streak for, for nine in general, so I'm just going to stick with it for now. And then an anti-liquid streak as well. Anti-liquid streak. <laughs> you dick. Oh, Two man. to nothing. Molotov holding this hit at bay, but here it comes right after the fact. Gamer Legion going for a timing. Counter utility is out. Another opening kill for Gamer Legion, but they've made no progress. They've moved forward, not at all. Cut off by utility, and Navi respond with three very fast kills. Yeah, that really got shut down, and that's in spite of the fact that, again, Navi don't really have that much to work with in this round. It's a bit of a bonus round for them. Obviously, it's the third one, so you know they're not going to have the best equipment going into it. Bomb is on the ground. And Isaac and Acor with two AKs. And they're given a lot of space here for Navi to make a mistake, which Navi have already proven a couple of times. They're not really making a lot of mistakes right now. They're not that aggressive, trying to stay real far back. The bomb is on the, the bomb side as well, so they just know eventually these two players will have to show up. That is an impossible situation. Gamer Legion used all their utility to get the execute out in the first place, so... You have no real cover. Okay. Oh. I say impossible, but Isaac, that's two very nice headshots. Bit and simple go down. Perfecto and NPL scratching their heads. Gotta pick up the pieces. Utility at hand. Isaac's brought very low. It's even more desperate at this point. Yeah, it is. He does actually make it out of the smoke, though. So maybe a chance still. 
about 27 seconds. He might be very, very low on health, but just needs the one headshot here, maybe for it to work out. Acor goes down now. I think, yeah, he's unfortunately too low to have any extended fight going into that one. So Perfecto will step it up and get a triple. Yeah, dangerous though. Very dangerous. You can see some of the skill, the individual skill. Isaac brings this right back into a winnable situation despite the initial calamity. So three nothing, and that bonus round doesn't give too much of a bonus with only two players surviving. But Perfecto with a triple kill in the round. And yeah, even though the opening kill comes out, I mean, with all the utility, the Molotov, the counter Molotov at the top of ramp, Simple's more than happy to jump up and peek and actually take fights. Multiple Navi players fighting at the same point, and they shut that down. Uh, got our first bliat of the day. <laughs> first of many, no doubt. Three and oh. Yeah, I mean, the fact that it even got close to being a bit of a comeback into that round is, is a little bit surprising, but well done on Isaac. For, uh, for getting some of those kills. Obviously behind the spray up from the palace, that's sort of what set it up and made uh, the first player, I don't actually remember who it was, but walking out of shadow, a little bit of a, of a nice trick sometimes. You can trick people into peeking if you're just emptying an entire magazine into the air like that. But this round, Galil's a Tech-9 and a Deagle and really not that much to work with. No, the plan helped, so they, they're able to invest a little bit just to try and get some kills, try and keep Navi's money honest, try and keep it from growing as much as humanly possible. Again, though, it's utility. There's no smokes left for, for Gamer Legion once this goes out, so it's going to be straight heads-up fight. They might just want to pop themselves through this smoke, utilize the Tech-9 to create some space, and that's exactly what's happened, but it's Suhi to lead the way, and he gets nothing done. Bit doing great work from Dark. Nobody else is able to gain any ground. A nice chime in from Electronic, and all of a sudden this hit is stopped cold. Yeah, very cold. Emma is going to pick up a couple of kills at the very least again, just to make it expensive, and Isaac is there. Again, if he wasn't so low on health, it would be a more doable clutch. But, I mean, this is actually pretty important, right? If you're yeah. going to start to fall behind, at least do the damage to that CT side economy. At least make sure that you're keeping Navi a little bit honest. But I've got to say... That promise of being warmed up for the challenger stage and coming into the legend stage here, that already feels gone, right? We're not getting that power explosion from Gamer Legion that you sometimes see when these two, you know, different teams meet. That's not what, and Navi seem very, very focused and warmed up right now. So that's probably a really, really bad sign if you're Gamer Legion. I felt like all the teams coming into the Legends stage that didn't play the Challenger stage, I had the most confidence that Navi was going to be ready to go right out of the gate. Simple with an opening kill with the off. Electronic chimes in as well. Simple goes a little bit too wide around the gap of the smoke. And now Kiaz tries to take advantage. He know the defense has got eyes elsewhere. Bit underneath. Nice shot. Headshot from below so quickly. But Isaac has been the one to provide a couple kills to recover things. Let's see if he's got it in him again here at A-Ramp. No. He's already walking away. Yeah, he it's bailed out. another two versus four, right? Yeah, and these are not the rounds that you are expecting to win if you're... Like, you, you would like a round where... You start off in a five versus four of your game of Legion here. You you get to make some tactical decisions. Well, that tactical, those tactical decisions that you feel like you're going to get to make and you've called out a spawn just get kind of taken away from you. When, when Simple gets a pick in middle and Electronic adds in another pick <laughs> yeah. onto that and right out of the gate, you're 3v5. Whatever tactic you wanted to run is not happening. It ain't happening. It's busted up. And this is a very difficult position to clear out. Yeah, it is. Even though everyone knows of it, but it, it you just, you have so many other angles to check typically when you're coming in here. You can see Isaac is even kind of crouching in for it, and even then, he's just not quite going to be ready. Suhei is on his own, and in a one versus four. So it'd be a miracle if he could win this one with 30 seconds left, and not going to happen. MPL will take... Simple and electronic. Probably one of the best one-two punches we've had in the entirety of CSGO. Simple, the greatest player we've had in CSGO. And I draw the parallel to going into Stockholm, where the rise of Bit kind of really, really kind of encapsulated the level that Navi was able to reach to win that major. There's been a rise in NPL since he's joined this roster leading into this major as well, where he's starting to feel more comfortable. And I'm looking at it very similarly, where I'm just like, this team is going to peak real hard in the playoffs. And we have seen Simple perform at a worse level than, than maybe what we're used to. So if that goes back to... Which is scary, because he's uh, his, worst, his worst performance we've seen in a while is still like, what, the second best player in the world? Sure. <laughs> I mean, but that's what yeah. I mean. You know, yeah. like, if, if, he, if he returns to sort of career high Simple, then... That could be that could be really horrifying. And I must say they are playing really disciplined Counter Strike right now. Well, and I remember one factor about Simple as well is like this guy lives for like the most pressure matches, the most yeah. stakes in the matches. Like I feel like Simple doesn't really show up until you get him into a major stage. Yeah, I don't think that's wrong either. 
I like it, Jason. I, it's, you know, sometimes you just you can't explain. You just have this feeling, and you're like, this is this is it. You know, could very well be. They're definitely one of the three teams I'm looking for as well. Bit with oh. great spray down. Even if they only have pistols, just a transfer between all three of them. He should be dead. Beautiful. I think nine out of ten times he's dead in that situation. The fact that he gets all three is actually pretty crazy, all things considered. I don't think it would have, even if he goes down, I don't think it turns the round for, for Gamer Legion to actually win it out. But the fact that they don't even get into the bomb site, can't even challenge for a plant, is really, really well done from Bit. I think from my point of view, there was a moment in Ooh. time. All right. Sue. Yeah, do some more damage at the very least. Again, well, don't shoot your teammates through. There was almost some collateral damage happening. Oh my god. Okay. That's pretty cool. There was a point in time where they had Electronic and Bit and Simple all playing at this really high level that made Na'Vi actually look undefeatable. Like, yeah. it, it just seemed like there's no one else in the world that had a trio that could work like that. So, I mean, if that's going to be back, I, I would say they're instantly a contender to at least make the grand final. Yeah, and I mean, Electronic is very individually impactful, even in the in-game leadership position, which is such a benefit to have. Yeah. What's wow, it? how many more nice things can we say about Navi? Yeah, I know. That's a yeah. <laughs> We've really, <laughs> really opened this up in a pro Navi angle. Oh, well. Oh, that's it. There's the dream is dead. Second bliot of the day. <laughs> <laughs> you just feel like uh, an idiot when you're jumping around like that. But you know what? Nothing really happened. And yes, that is the greatest player in the world. He's human like us. Feels good, doesn't it? Although, to be honest, Simple's, you know, ability has never really been about the movement or even the crosshair placement at times. Like, it's, it's not what it's about, is it? There's and some, some other X factor. And we also, we can, we can blame that on NPL, too. Yeah, we can. It's good to have a scapegoat for the goat. Nice. <laughs> you I'm glad you've carried this over to the legend stage. Missed shot from Simple. Isaac with another good headshot. Oh, there goes Perfecto. You still have NPL here. He's going to be called upon early. Defensive smoke to give himself some space to operate to make it a little bit perhaps confusing to the attacking Gamer Legion players. And oh, now they get to exploit everything. Where's the bomb, Jason? The bomb's way far back, but it's all good. There's 40 seconds. It's yeah. a four on one. You're fine. You are going to be fine, but that's actually risky, right? There's about 35 seconds left. Just imagine if instead he was flanking through CT sp or T spawn or something stupid like that. Not to say that, you know, they, are, they probably could have still made it. Wow. I th well, also, it's like, you know, I, I don't consider that a really a mistake in any capacity because I don't think you expect to, like, have the success you did at the B-bomb site, right? Sure. I don't think you expect those opening kills. So, I mean, they're still just like, okay, well, now we got to just sort of press the advantage. We'll figure out the bomb later. That's a nice round, though. Finally, Gamer Legion on the board. Took them seven rounds, but they've got their first on this T side of Mirage. Can they build upon it? And actually, they have a great chance to. Only pistols for Navi. So all that little chip of economic damage round after round, two kills here or there. Isaac with a couple important frags. Shuhei with those Tech Nines in the previous round. It's done its job. It's taken the guns away from Navi. Yeah, that's super, super important. And Game Illusion need to really pounce on this opportunity here. Attempted crunch MPL almost getting the timing down as they were fighting on that st on the stairs leading into underpass But not really they didn't uh, get quite as much as they would have wanted to only the one kill on Emma so far Perfecto and MPL left scout and a 5-7 a little bit too long range unfortunately there Kios will take him down And now just the scout walking around shouldn't be able to do too much of anything here It should be a good close to the round. We haven't seen Chaos shouting yet. He was doing a lot of that in the challenger stage. Haven't had a great reason to quite yet. We give him one more gun round win. I, if they win the next gun round, I bet he goes absolutely bonkers. Plant yeah. goes down and it's perfecto. Just seeing if he can save this scout. Maybe grab an extra. They're going to buy in the next round, so you might as well just go challenge. See if you can find something. And Acor is taking him off. Taking him right off the map. Six to two. Four round lead for Navi. But they're pretty quickly back with... Maybe not the best buy, but something to uh, someone to play around with. AWP picked up on Simple. Definitely a map I've seen him avoid the AWP on in the past. Just to, just again, you so easily get smoked and Molotov of the middle, and then you have to play the extremities with the orb instead, and maybe you don't want to. So, wouldn't be surprised if he goes away with it or sort of goes away from it later on, but this is a huge success to begin with. The quick jump up and A-call, even though he was kind of there, 
Not going to be quick enough to take down Simple this time. Yeah, Simple calls for the spawn. He had the early angle to get up into that palace position, and that's a nice opening pick provided. Now, Isaac says, okay, the op's on the other side of the map. I don't mind actually challenging this. Previously, he did win against Simple, even with the op. A missed shot allowed Isaac to pick him off, but now he's going to feel way more comfortable. He's been spotted by the jump and going to back away. That gives away the game. Five on four for Navi. And yep. Gamer Legion don't really have position yet. They don't have mid control, so it's not as fluid and easy to kind of traverse between the bomb sites and set up another kind of a split. And now you have the AWP over here in the hands of Simple as well. Yeah, boost up on the bench. That maybe could have been a kill. Isaac, quite lucky to be alive. Sue is... Well, we're on the A side, and presumably just to try and make a little bit of a distraction. Well, Simple's also trying to throw him off their game, right? He's like, you just saw me in Palace, and now I'm going to go over to the B-bomb site in case you're challenging. A shot rings out there, so now you know the AWP is at the B-bomb site. You probably don't want to attack into my AWP, so I'm going to move again to the A-bomb site, which is where it seems like Gamer Legion is actually lining up to split up connector. Yeah, that's a great thing to point out, isn't it, though? Because that is one of the things that makes Simple such a hard orbit to play against, is that dynamic style of just being all over the place. We're down to 22 seconds, and they're going to be setting up an attack towards the bomb site. Bit again in Shadow, he's been playing there a lot, and it's working out. He's trying to relocate himself and making himself hard to find. And there's Simple again at CT spawn. A new position for him. 10 seconds on the bomb, and they're going to fake the bomb. Actually, Flick not quite connecting. Five seconds left, and it's all on Imma. Can't even get the bomb plant down in time before they're right on top of him. NPL comes charging through, and it's a good round for Na'Vi. I think that's a little sigh of relief for NPL there. I don't think he realized how deep that smoke was going to go. It took him a little bit long to get that vision coming through, and he was always already spraying, so he could have very easily gone down there and left Simple in a tough position. But the opening pick for Simple we can see here against Acor. Gets one more during the A execute as well, and it's 7-2. to two. I mean, to 5, as he said. He's uh, had a couple very good rounds of that A bomb site. Doing a really good job as the site anchor. Not the easiest bomb site to anchor in the game. Deep utility. And Gamer Legion's gonna be held at bay, at least initially. Simple's off this time over at Ticket at the A bomb site. Starting the round pretty passively looking for any kind of A ramp challenge. Wow, just a long break here. They're expecting some sort of a push. You could see Sue is quite aware that there could be someone pushing top mid, but they're not getting it. Navi is staying passive as well. This is this is a, a decent amount of times we've seen this kind of an opening from Gamer Legion. It almost feels like this is kind of that game plan is to get Isaac to really kind of challenge and probe that beef off site. This is maybe the third or fourth time in the early stages in the first or the opening kind of salvo of this half that we've seen him really challenge. So Gamer Legion trying to set him up for a pick and bring some attention to that B bomb site. It's worked. Electronics slid over. There's three defenders here, which is going to put Perfecto deeper on towards Catwalk. And they boosted up Electronic inside of the bomb site. This is going to be very hard to crack this one open. Perfecto starts it off, and it works out just fine. A double kill for him. I don't know how you can make it through right now. 40 seconds left. There's more rotations coming in. As simple as about to be in the market in about five seconds. So you need to hit this right now before he shows up. in Electronic, this boost, it's so simple, but you just don't expect it. And that's the power of it. Acor will take down MPL. And they actually get Electronic as well, down to 25 seconds. And simple. Waiting for someone to cross. That's the bomb. 20 seconds. Yeah, you have to take a risk right now. You have to win this fight, Acor. Otherwise, you're going to lose the round. There's the jump pass, but Simple locked on the corner. Down to 13 seconds now. Uh-oh. Oh, the spray. It should be good. And Emma, he'll pick them off. That is perfect. And there's the yelling coming out. Finally for Gamer Legion. They were... They were about to lose that round. Yeah, I'm actually amazed. I think that's a maybe a miscue from Bit to like when he jumps over to not take control of market. Simple knows the bomb in the AWP is on catwalk. He knows he can't cross into the bomb site. So the fact that nobody takes responsibility for that market allows Ema to make that play. And that's gotta be a little bit frustrating for Navi. No! <laughs> Yeah, get that energy up and running again. Navi out of money. They have that one M4 on simple. But yeah, I I agree that definitely someone should have been looking there, right? That that yeah, that feels like a situation where simple would either tell Bit or Bit would just kind of pick it up on his own, and maybe simple thought that he was going to come to the realization. But man, that that was really the only avenue to have a clean win is that push to the market door. Huge gap in the two v two. Back to pistols for Navi. Such a risk as well for Gamer Legion to wait with the bomb being out there. 
Because if, if that's just a one-for-one -one trade in the market, then Acor still has to make the cross and try and plant the bomb with maybe eight or seven seconds left or something like that. Not necessarily easy. No connection through the smoke on that one. They're going to go quick on this one. They're going to be pouncing through. They're on the ramp as well on the other side. Why not try and crunch it right here and now? Simple's out of the open, and the smoke fades. He's going to be dead immediately. Good return. Just the pistols fighting back against Gamer Legion. Four versus three right here. And Bits throwing out the Molotov. It does just go straight into the smoke, unfortunately. And now let's see. Three on three. They picked up the single AK. Emma's sneaking on through, and that's a very important kill. Nice. He's continuing the run. It's the pistol on MPL to find a kill on Emma, and it leaves Acor in a one versus two. Now, he has the right idea. Nearly gets a shot through. Is he going to give it another crack? Real scary. He wants a rifle. He wants to swap over to that AK-47. Surely, this is so unwieldy. Oh, he's going to make the run. Off towards market we go. Towards the B-bomb site. 15 seconds. Catwalk jump. Ooh, up in towards the ladder room. Ten Acor seconds. Has insane movement. I think he, yeah, he's got plenty of time for this. Okay, interesting now. Acor's found the escape route. One v two. One of the few players I would always trust to make those jumps work. He's so sick at it. AK in hand. They're right there. They nearly lined up for the kill. That would have been something. And now he's going to slide on a little bit further back. They are coming for him. They do not have the defuse kit, but they should have enough time. Oh, what a clean shot! Bit just gets deleted, and Acor. One bullet away from getting this. Want to be a huge clutch here to get Gamer Legion back on track in the opening half. And he's got the right idea. And there's the spray down. You see the excitement immediately. Huge clutch coming out from Acor. That's massive because they got stopped cold. What a performance from Perfecto at the top of A ramp. So many angles to worry about, starting with a pistol as well. Huge trim to transfer it over to the AK-47. And Navi put a stop to this. Yeah, Bit does a wonder. Excuse me, it's Bit, not Perfecto at the top of A ramp. That's wonderful. But man, they just can't win the 1v2. Good escape route found by Acor. Holy shit. <laughs> He's done it again. He's doing that in the challenger stage. Mine's being blown on the Gamer Legion side. And now this is interesting because it started out so rough. It looked like Navi was coming into this so strong. Four of the last five go to Gamer Legion and they're starting to put enough rounds on the board to make this second half dangerous. They're clawing this one back. Yeah, extremely well done. That's so important, right? That, that, this probably had to happen for Gamer Legion to have a real crack at this first half. But again, that economy on the Na'Vi side is now becoming a real interesting problem for them to have to fight their way through. 7-4, but this could very, very quickly change. Gamer Legion started to wake up a little bit more, and that's, that's good to see. Would have been a bit disappointing if it was just a Navi show the whole way through. So if you're Navi at this point too, you've seen you've seen a couple things multiple times from this Gamer Legion offense, right? You've seen, as, as I touched on earlier, the Isaac challenge towards the B side of the map and the B halls really early on in rounds. They're putting him in that position. And also you've seen them kind of walk through quietly, contact through the con smoke, maybe like three or four times in this half as well. Sure. Those seem to be two elements of this T side that are getting repetitive. And I think if you're Navi, you're talking about that and you're trying to figure out solutions to that. Maybe it is simple with the off. He tried it once before, missed a shot. Maybe he goes back to it. Will he actually miss it twice? You'll probably tell your A players and your con players to have their, their, their heads and just always be ready for that fight through the con smoke as well. And next round, they'll have guns and they'll have the weapons and the tools to be able to put a stop to these things. Interesting uh, little stack going on over at the A-bomb site, but the bomb is making its way to B, unfortunately, for them. It's a good shot. Imagine if there was only 10 seconds and the bomb was actually here. Could have been a bit of a horrible turn of events, but they're going to be fine. Bomb will be planted, and I think Navi will be uh, happy to just walk away with the AK. Keep it fighting in another round, and even finally the AWP, this is really good news. Yeah, for losing a round, you steal an AK and an AWP, that's, that's actually massive. But it still will be a fifth round for Gamer Legion. That, uh, this is from the previous round, right? The two-on-one against Acor. There's an M4 up there that they couldn't pick up. They that couldn't was, at least find it. Yeah, that was on Simple's hands as well. He was just emptying the mag through smokes at A-Ramp and in con and just didn't get any of the connections. And that was the opening kill as they popped through that smoke. Incredible fine production. Good, good well job. done. Yeah, these are the kind of small things, right? Like, they get lost in the, in the middle of the chaos, but actually it suddenly makes a big difference. The, uh, the Acor thing, you said you have faith in his movement. You think he avoided the catwalk jump and went through ladder room just, you know, to play it safe? No, he would 100%. Yeah, I, Acor has some of the <laughs> sickest movement in the game. He would have made it. Yeah, I, I have no... They've only really won two gun-on-gun -gun rounds of these five. One Ooh. of them was a force-up from Navi, and two of them have been full saves. Failed window smoke. 
A little bit unfortunate, but the fight continues either way. Electronic playing right at the edge. They're on the other side, and with an aid in hand, that's going to be an easy kill on Emma. The top fragger right now for Gamer Legion, gone down at the start of the round. A little bit sloppy, perhaps, and a four on five to ensue, but they're walking out of the ramp on the other side, and they might just be able to find a kill oh. here. Oh, Bits in so much trouble, but he's in the right place at the right time. And now the alarm bells ring, and he calls it out. They were going for contact, and Gamer Legion is just dry challenging everything on the map. I'm pretty sure NPL spotted this. Yeah, there's a flashbang. They're going to swing for this peak. Double peak towards Catwalk. Shuhei gets himself into cover at the right moment, but he's got nowhere to go. He's the only one here. Headshot is the only way out, and he's eventually shut down. Another two on four, which... Again, very tricky for Gamer Legion to try and win, although they do have that AWP, and Acor seems to be warmed up. Isaac down here would love the bomb plant. It's a big risk, and there's nobody to cover him. They just can't cover everything at once, unfortunately. So now it's Acor, one versus four. He's not even getting close. Perfecto will take him down. Good triple in the round for him. And now we're going to be back up to eight. That round is a little bit more dangerous, I think, than it, than it probably seems at the end of the day, right? If, yes. if like Bit's not looking at the right direction, if he gets picked off, if one of those like dry lurks up a ramp and up catwalk actually pans out and gets a kill, that that gets uh, that, that gets very very difficult for Navi. Gotta say though, there hasn't been a whole lot of success for Gamer Legion in middle. When they've gone for this kind of control and tried to push down a challenge early, we've seen Electronic be aggressive. We've seen Simple get a pick there with the off. That kind of mid presence from Gamer Legion is not panning out the way they'd like. Yeah, I mean, and it kind of it kind of shows, right? Like they have to keep fighting these two on four or three on five type situations. They they they're struggling in a lot of these rounds to try and get back into the round. But it works in the sense that as soon as Navi don't have the economy, of course, it gets a little bit easier. Round number 14, and they're going to go a little bit quicker at it here. It feels like the bomb is oh, there. timing's not there. Yeah, they want to run for it. The jump is absolutely mistimed, and MPL, he's dead before he even realizes what is going on. Navi with a tough decision to make here. They don't have a lot of money to throw away these rifles, so even if it's a four on five, if you show up here and you lose, you're going to be in trouble. They've lost one round already to this kind of an attack, but Isaac, he walks into the AWP shot. I think that might pull him in to at least go for this, or at least investigate a little bit more. Certainly that shot on the Kiaz would have said, let's go forward. Awkward. All of Simple is coming in, and that might be the kill that spurs him forward now. They've got a man advantage. The Catwalk player is down. Acor's got to be nervous, and exiting market is electronic to lead the way. Yeah, they set up a smoke to try and get them out a little bit quicker. Acor, good shot with the Deagle. Can he get one more? This is going to be the end of the road for him. And now it's Kios up close. Sue's here as well. Electronic cleaning them up, but he's locked in. He can't escape, but it will not make a difference. The bomb are going to be exploded. They actually did have kits, but they just didn't find their way in time. And you think you said it already. You get some of those early kills and you get lured into going for the retake. They did get close, but they lost a bunch of rifles. Yeah, they, I, it's it's okay. They lost two players on it, right? I mean, that, that was a, that's a close affair. A little bit faster, and they actually might be able to just stick that bomb in electronic, have the right read. Just that, that entrance is too too quick and too efficient, and you could even see it coming. You could see that building the whole way, the way NPL, the timing of his jumps weren't there. By the time he realizes it, they're already close, already jumping out the window. That's a very, very harsh round to lose for Navi. Final round of the first half. What a job Gamer Legion has done to come back into this game, make this respectable, keep this within reach. Yeah, the first five rounds looked so decisive. You just got a little bit swept up in the Navi hype. Gamer Legion, they're right back into it. The timing is good once again. They get down on the floor of the B-bomb site. They get the opening as well. Simple now fighting for his life. And they're going to be coming for another oh. great shot as he goes for a third. Pios will finally take him down with that second kill. Oh, yikes. Eight. It was a thing of beauty. Running for the flames is never advisable. And it's going to be a two versus three. Suhei and Emma, the bomb is down there. And Electronic going to be sneaking in. He should have a good view. And if they want to try and pick it up, they have to fight Electronic. And he knows it as well. Easy, just sliding on through. Taking down Suhei. And he's going to be popping up Immer as well. What they're going to look like. Let's see how in-game leader Electronic is going to work his team around the map to try and take their opening match of the Blast TV Paris Major. Yeah, even more so at the Legends stage, you don't want to be going down at all. You just want to power through, make it a quick 3-0. and You don't want to be spending any more time here because there are some heavy-hitting teams that you could be facing. Oh, there we go. Electronic will pick up Acorn. Starts out here, a 4 versus 3. The bomb in the underpass, and 
Could end up a, a really powerful split with three of them coming up for the connector with the bomb. You got to give credit over to Bit with that P250. That's an all important trade to get on. Uh, I believe that was Ima who peeked out for the opening kill onto Perfecto. But Bit with that immediate trade allows Electronic the confidence to swing and take that one on one fight with Acor. So they bust up the stack and underpass. And you're exactly right. Just strolling up connector with no resistance. Acor is gambling over towards the B bomb site, and it is wrong. Yeah, and I can't even understand why they might want to do this. You feel like you're in a three on five, maybe, or a three on four, maybe if you take the risk here and they show up at the B bomb site, it's going to be absolutely great. But now the retake's probably not even doable. And you already had two players parked deep at the B bomb site with a the setup there, so Acor was really the only one. I mean, all on his own, didn't feel like he could accomplish anything, and now you just saved the pistols, so you don't Chaos, even yeah. go for it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So, pistol round goes the way of Navi. Not much else to, to be said about it. They're going to save the, the kit and a little bit of armor and just be happy with that. 10 to 6. 10 to 6. An uneventful pistol round. You yeah. get more fight out of those. Yeah, you get a little bit more action. Not this time. No. Preserving the armor, preserving the kits and the flashbangs. So some cheap upgrades to helmets for Gamer Legion and some weapons alongside it. That one right there from Bit, I think, is the all-important trade kill because that electronic is like, well, I know I got a 1v1 here. True. I'm happy for that challenge. If it's a 1v2, it's a different universe. 10 to 6, both pistols go in the way of Na'Vi. Yeah. There is also a B stream happening, if you guys have, uh, are not aware which um, currently is, is 9 versus Liquid on Overpass. So tied up game almost at this point in time. Don't want to be missing out on that. Hugo and Harry are having a great time, I'm sure. On the microphones? Exactly. No investment for Gamer Legion. So they don't go for those uh, cheap upgrades to head armor and some pistols behind it. They're going to wait for round 3 to be able to get some FAMAS and then 4s. That's an awkward spray from Simple. Not the prettiest thing we've ever seen. Not the prettiest round we've ever seen from Navi. And it's into a two-on-two. -two. Perfecto hasn't been able to take any advantage through the Molotov, but now the unarmored opponent of Kiaz goes down. AK-47 recovered. However, the bomb is in Navi's control, but this is a 1v2 you go for. Yeah, you definitely should, right? The lack of armor is a big problem. The kit is right there. Smoke goes up in front, but Acor, he's already got the first three kills to try and ace this round with no armor and with just pistols and a one flashbang thrown from C2. Oh, oh my oh, God, oh. he got the shot through. <laughs> that is a horrifying moment if you're on the Na'Vi side, but they will at least get one in return. So they barely win that round. That's a horrifying moment if you don't get that trade kill as well through yeah. the smoke. Yeah, what a round for Mako with this USP. All one magazine. Yeah, really, really cool. So that the, the setup oh, there is nice four people it. swing the middle oh, from the catwalk, nice and Kios is the one that set up the flashbang from CT. Spawning throws it over the building, and they just go for it. And flashbangs they saved in the pistol round, right? They brought two yes. forward. So if you ever think that looks a little bit silly, look at the resources and what they were able to accomplish. Simple wants to get it all back. Relatively pedestrian game for Simple, 10 and 11 at this point. Smoked off over in Palace, and Navi's going to hit the pause button on this hit. They were ready to go. Yeah, they wanted to. Let's slow it down a little bit. Very, very limited on the nades here on the Gamer Legion side. So could be a big problem if you want to go for a retake down the stretch of it. They do not have a defuse kit either in this particular round. So yeah, there's a lot of this right now for Gamer Legion has to be out winning the initial battle and not trying to do any crazy retakes. Because again, you need the grenades to try and do that typically. Isaac's got one smoke, and I mean, the one smoke over in Palace deployed forced Navi into plan B. However, Navi aren't actually attacking into the B bombsite whatsoever through halls where Isaac is. Through underpass we go to create a new split. I've got to be careful about Suhei up in window. Good shot from Simple, waiting for that peek. And this is due to the fact that Navi's been so quiet in this readjustment. Uh, Gamer Legion had no idea of where Navi was on the map. Yeah, and he just wanted the peak, right? He just wanted to see what was actually going on. Emma shows up. Let's load some couple of bullets. Gonna be able to get that one kill and kind of a labored spray on both sides. Electronic will get the shot. Acor set on fire and ultimately hunt it down in the corner. Bit to pick him up. And this is looking real good. Long range with the Mac 10. It's not efficient, but he'll get the job done either way. 
Chaos goes down. Might have even just run it a run there to pick up the AWP, but even that is going to be disallowed. So Isaac, one versus four to try and save the rifle of the B-bomb side. Yeah, you got to feel awful if you're Sue right now because his kill is kind of the waterfall that exposes the middle of the map, gives him a little bit of safety, forces that catwalk to fight from Ima, from Ima to just be the one player, a one-for-one -one trade onto Simple, but Electronic brings it back. But you just wanted information. You just like, I want to know what's happening. No one knows anything on my team. Nobody has any information. No one's calling out utility. No one's calling out footsteps. We need to discover something, and he just found a little bit too much. Yeah, it's a really simple peek that he goes for, right? He's not super overextended. He's just taking a look in there, but it was too much anyway. Simple finding him, and you're right. That kind of was the, the domino that, that starts the whole thing. Yeah, this is a very interesting scenario, but ultimately... They're going to double the round score of Gamer Legion, put themselves at 12. Yeah, and that also passes a free op over to Simple off the body of Acor, who just got bombarded, flashbanged, blinded, molotoved, and just kept down with, with fire into the corner to make sure he couldn't move. A little bit of utility around some of the pistols that... Gamer Legion has invested into, looking for a miracle and looking once again to pounce on any kind of mid-presence from Na'Vi in the mid-round. One player catwalk, one in window room, one over towards Khan, that's Suhei. Isaac with the only M4. <laughs> Boosting a teammate up at the A bomb site, or he is the one boosted up with the M4. And Kios does have another flashbang that he can throw into the middle here if they need it. Oh, another deep smoke. Right now he's boosting, so not going to be throwing any grenades at the moment. Is there a go around that? Well, he's trying, definitely going to find that one. Yep, so again, pushing through the smoke, trying to get a little bit cheeky, hoping that second smoke that was thrown would protect him, and it did not. Electronic adds a second kill onto his tally, up to 19 kills. Electronic, and all of a sudden Isaac's the only one at this A bomb site. At least he's got the M4. But he's got three different choke points he's got to worry about. First kill is his. Perfecto pounces. He exposes himself to danger from one angle to have an advantage up towards Palace. But oh. Navi have not pulled the trigger entirely just yet. No, they're going to go back. Aqua has to get back up into the window. But if he can, maybe he could... This is actually doable. Look at the time that's left. If the bomb dies in an awkward position here, it could be everything. There's him with the kill. And now Aqua oh, sneaking it. around. 15 seconds on the clock. The execute on one and the follow-up is there. And that's the round. There's nothing Perfecto could do about it. Two deagles over at that B-bomb site. And just the fact that the clock had already run down low. I don't even know why Perfecto is hunting this down. He's going to end up dying. Wow. Game Legion with a very unlikely round. Yeah, not a very convincing hit from Navi. It felt like they were just looking for a mistake up Catwalk. They were looking for a peak, and, the, right. and they weren't getting it. There was no actual pressure applied, and yeah, that round slips out of control from Navi very quickly. What a great patience and positioning and decision-making from Acor to come out of Catwalk late. Not really showing anything, uh, anything quite yet to convince us they can complete this comeback and come all the way back to take the map. Yeah, I, I, you're definitely right. But I mean, it's still very early on in the second half. Let's let's see what the rest of these gun rounds are going to look like. This is a fake. Yeah. A lot of pressure being applied over towards A. It looks like they wanted to activate NPL to commit to cause more of a distraction, but he's blocked off by smoke. And again, that just pulls Gamer Legion into an information play that Electronic's able to punish. That's happened quite a number of times, right? We've talked about it in the past of uh, Asue getting picked up for at least a couple of rounds here. This time it's Emma going down. Mid control for Navi. And they can return to this bomb site. They have another smoke they can throw up towards that top connector position. And they are actually getting pushed and he will stand up to the early fight, taking down Isaac. He's well aware there could be a second player and he's not wrong about it, but unfortunately, Kios will get the kill on him and Sue gonna be picking up electronic so it's straight back into a three versus three. And Kios inside of the A bomb site. They look like they've managed to stabilize. And in spite of the fact that Gamer Luigi lost the two early fights in this round, nice shot. That's just the Galil. 
finding the face of Kios all the way back at that ticket booth. Yep, and even going to drop the bomb just to make sure it doesn't get lost because you can see on the mini-map, Bit has already cleared out the B-bomb site. I don't know if Navi's going to choose to fall back. Actually, yeah, Simple will now. He says, he, Bit's calling him over and saying, I have the B-bomb site entirely. I'm pushing in towards market. So Simple's going to try and make the run. Suhez, instead of going underpass, he's going to go in towards window room because Perfecto is still applying so much pressure. Now I, don't, know. I don't know how Suhez's still alive. That would be a huge kill. They're back to the A-bomb site. Navi has gone through three different decisions and it once again is falling apart. 1v2 for Simple. Yeah, all on him right now to try and recover this horrible round. Four seconds left. He's run out of time. He has to try and hunt down Acorn. He can't find him in time. Navi playing too deep for their own good, and definitely they could have won this round. This was in the bag. If they would have kept on rotating, I think they would have had it. Yeah, I, yeah I, I think there was time for Simple to make the run all the way over. There was like 30 seconds left on the clock to make it to that B-bomb site. Might have been a little bit close, obviously, when Bit goes down and CT spawn. And yeah, it felt like there were like two different ideas and the three players from Navi weren't executing the same plan. It's been a while since I tested. I used to run around tonight. I think it's about 19 to 21 seconds to run from that A ramp to, to B. I'm pretty sure they had time for it. Obviously, the thing that they don't know is they don't know if Suhei is going to be running top mid to try and stop them. So maybe that's what, what changes it. But the fact that they didn't get the, the kill on the flank coming through as well, like that should have been it. Well, now you're starting to see like uh, this, this Navi offense uh, not coming into this as a well-oiled machine. Maybe needed to play themselves in a couple games. We mentioned kind of maybe the lag time of some of these teams that got to skip the challenger stage. But, you know, two rounds ago, they run a clock down very, very low, and they're able to get ecoed by Gamer Legion. Now here, a little bit of discombobulation in the late round, and all of a sudden, the round falls flat despite an advantage. So two hiccups for the Navi offense early on. And this could cost them a lot. No question about it. Swiss challenging. Going to be able to pick it up. And once he gets those kills, he feels pretty good about the situation. Going to go for a third one. 9 to 12. That's three in a row here for Gamer Legion. And started off with what? The, the Deagles suddenly coming into play and making all the difference in the world. Yeah. Oh, man. I think if you're Navi and you want to just kind of close this one out and complete it, this, this needs to be a clean round. You need to get something that's going to start making you feel like this offense is clicking. 12 to 9. Three Galils and two AK-47s for Navi's attack. Few players missing utility, but nothing too crazy. Towards the eight bomb site we go. Heavy presence. Meanwhile, Electronic's going to be in middle all on his own. A 4-1 split. Here we go, right through the smoke into the submachine gun of Chaos, who picks up a double kill. He's had a really tough game, Chaos. That was his seventh kill right there. And now they're in a four versus three. He's the only one that's brought him in missing a little bit on the Gamer Legion side. So if he could have a bit of a resurgence here in the second half, that would be everything. That's, could, that's what could take Gamer Legion over the edge. Electronic going to be taken on Isaac. This round is not done yet. Kios very low on health, and they know it. Oh, he still actually finds the headshot. This flank, you'll never expect it. It's too fast, it's too quick. Perfecto's got a chance in a 1v2, but he might back up right into the op of Acor. Now he's found himself a clutch. Yeah, he's looking for it. The Molotov actually sets him up really nicely. Put some pressure on the bomb. He has to go back and pick it up, but one of the most sensible players here in Perfecto. I wouldn't want to play a one versus one against him. He's got so much time as well. So much time to play with. The only disadvantage is the bomb isn't quite there. And yeah, Acor's thinking maybe maybe he's fallen all the way back. Maybe he's going to go to the other side of the map. But there's no way for Perfecto to realize how much space he has at this point. 35 seconds. If Acor kept running through T-spawn, you have to assume that this is one of the only positions that Perfecto and the Afterplant will never check, right? Is he going to actually keep on pushing or will he come back to that connector? He has to finish A. He can't yes. go to the B bomb site. There's no time. And Acor is walking back in. He's not going to make the full rotation around either. This is scary. At one time for a fake. Not going to see anything there. And Acor slowly but surely moving up towards the stairs. He's out in the open. Oh. Shot comes through. Reels his position. It's a little bit early, but now at least Perfecto knows. And he's going to hunker down and try and make sure he doesn't get shot through anything. Another wall bang attempt, but he's coming up short on this one so far. And Perfecto out in the open, and there's the spree. He'll win that one versus one. One versus two, I suppose. And Perfecto with a triple. That is huge for Navi. Another step closer to winning the map. That's a long, extended 1v1 as well. And I think you're exactly right. I think Acor, if he could do that over, giving away his position with the AWP, you have to win this. You, you have invested everything into this round. A win here lets you continue fighting. A long 
loss here puts your back against the wall as you have to drop down and save and then go on a six round run for overtime. Well, they've done it before, but with less, so why not? Simple on the early flick to take down Sue. Electronic going to get the return as well. And there is a bit of a stack at the oh. bomb site. Chaos and Imra are still here, and he actually landed just a halo bullets right onto Electronic. That's impressive. And Perfecto hoping to get the wall bang. We're not going to get that one back into a three on three. And would you ever expect Ema to be here? You've picked off two at the A bomb site, right? You picked off A core with an op at the top of Khan. You picked off one over towards triple. You know Kiazo is close towards A ramp. Would you expect Ema to just be chilling behind the boxes in the A bomb site? So I actually like this play from Kiazo as well. Going on a little bit of a mission. You know there was one in Palace. He should not get caught off guard by it. Yeah, this is really, really well played from Chaos. Again, had a, had a tough start at the beginning of the game, but it, he's made up for it. And if he doesn't have Ima parked in this position, he probably doesn't make this play. He's just saying, I know there's still defense at this bomb site. He's on a really long mission around now. Ima probably has to get a kill just or at least stay alive for another second. Isaac is not going to be rotating in just yet either. Kios coming back to the bomb site through the middle now, but it's... Oh, they don't know. They're just not even going to check. Bomb not getting planted here. And Emma, that's everything you would have wanted. 30 seconds, and it is going to be a 2-1-2. Two -two. And they're so unsure. Now they have to check everything. And now the nerves have set in a little bit for Navi. This is an important round. Looking for Kios, that Molotov to keep him in play. Now they found him. Now they realize that was the A player. So now we know Isaac rotating from the B bomb site as the anchor. Yep. Oh, and a straight <laughs> shot down. Simple. He's had himself some good finds like that. Double for him, double for Perfecto, and Navi at 14. That got really, really close. Yeah, but it's, it's, it doesn't matter how close it is. This is disaster striking for Gamer Legion. True. 2,000 on Isaac, on Suhei, on Ima. Right around there, Acor not too much further ahead. Kia's the most at 3,200, the bonus money of the SMG, but they're out of cash to fight with. They have to concede, potentially, Navi getting to 15. They have to concede six map points. Electronic really having himself a game. 23 kills. But simple start of the get up and they're on the scoreboard. Sue's being picked up by Emma. Something to look forward to. Can you do the sound? I was going to, I was, oh, you, I beat you to you it. beat me to it, didn't you? Um, he's not going to be around this corner. Uh, oh, uh, you saw the, definitely saw the boot there. We've got some backup. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that worked anyway, Jason. Yeah, that worked out just fine. And you don't have to do the sound anymore because he, he dropped the Zeus on catwalk. He dropped the Zeus, yeah. I think Chad for a while was, uh, was just... Chad's been giving it some effort. Was, you know, giving it a shot. I haven't been practicing it, but I used to, I used to be able to do it. Yeah. Like a good little, ah! Yeah. <laughs> Something like that? Yeah. That's what we need in the future. You know, we need different recordings of it. Sure. That can be the caster sound pack for the game. I've offered, All the different casters doing the Zeus sound. I've offered in a number of occasions to tase you to and record it. We can get like a real... I've been tased before. <laughs> well, then there we go, Jason. When you didn't record it, then you could have... <laughs> we wouldn't have to do it a second time. Exactly. You would have just, you know thought a little bit ahead back I, in the college days. I volunteered to go to the, the Valve offices to the sound room and, and make a new zoo sound for CS2. Set it up. Set it up, Gabe, if you're listening. Round number 25. And Game of Legion, it's all on this. Like, you you sort of drew the picture for us earlier, right? They, they were going to be in this position losing a couple of rounds ago. Six round run to try and get back into this one. Otherwise, Navi will walk away, I think, with a bit of a scare because Game of Legion actually look really good on this map. I think this is a slightly deceptive scoreline, but obviously Navi helped by the fact that they were on that six round run to start the first half with. And this one, it all comes down to this for Game of Legion. Good shot on Emma, and Isaac will spin around. They see what's coming, an attempted crunch towards the B bomb site, and it is shut down. Yeah, this is one great way to get things started if you're going to go on a streak to come back and force this into overtime. If you consider a nice clean round where nobody's gone down quite yet, nobody's really taken too much damage. Emma down to 41. But if you keep all five players alive and money is not going to be an issue moving forward, that makes you feel much more comfortable about the prospect of making this happen. So Simple and Bit have to take a lot of risks coming up to this B-bomb site. Off angle for Ima, another kill for him. And Simple can't take anything away. All five players survive. It's 10 to 5 now. Yeah, really, really impressive. 22, Ima. 
he, he already not just building rosters, but a, a part of some of the rise of some of the you know most prolific players we've had in Counter Strike. He's plucked yep. them out of obscurity and trained them up. Acor is going to disappear behind the Molotov, which is going to give mid presence over to Bit at the top mid boxes. And again, it denies a lot of information for Gamer Legion, which is an area of the game they've really struggled in. Good double made, but oh, it's Sui again. Electronic finds that through the smoke. They saw that coming, didn't they? They knew there was going to be a second attempt to try and bombard that top mid position. Yeah, Bit is tagged up, but still a four on five. They're going to make the jump down. NPL tries to make the run across. He wanted to think hunt down Imma, who's at the corner, but it doesn't really work out that way. Isaac there to save his teammate. Imma's still going to be going down eventually. And it's a three on three here. The bomb is at the bomb side, and it's going to be planted. And there's no coming through this one. That's a little bit too optimistic if you're Isaac. Bit was covering it in a two on three now. They're both in the market trying to get down. This might be almost impossible. Look at the crossfire that's been set up. Acor on his own. And I think this might be the end of the road here. Acor missing a shot that he needed to hit. And now there's no time. Simple with the last.